Hey guys, it's Marco. I want to show you the Ledger Stacks and I want to tell you whether you should buy it, if it's worth the high price, what it does very special and what is uh, very similar throughout all the devices from Ledger. So out of transparency, I want to tell you that um, I got sent this device as an official Ledger partner for free, free of charge, but I was not paid for my opinion um, to give you a positive opinion about this device. So without further ado, I want to show you the Ledger Stacks first of all. So the Ledger Stacks is a very, yeah, special, very modern and beautiful looking hardware wallet device. And what it makes so special is the secure e-ink touchscreen, which is also curved. So this is why, why it's very unique. So you have a secure touchscreen where you can interact with the software uh, on the device and it's also curved. So um, this is what, uh, is different from the Ledger Stacks to the Ledger Flex, which also has a secure touchscreen. But first of all, it's smaller and it doesn't have this curved design. So if you compare both of the devices, you see this is like something from the 2010s <laughs> design wise, and this is something from the 2020s. So it looks much more modern, more flat, uh, much more beautiful in my opinion. But um, overall, it, it's the same technology. And as you could see, the display is much bigger and um, this comes quite handy if you interact with the, with the display. So you have one button here where you can uh, start the device you click on it and it opens and as you can see here uh, for example this is the pin code everything is very big and you will not have a problem to uh, miss one of those fields here so it, it's very convenient to uh, read transaction uh, the signature of transaction or to see all the information uh, that you need on this device way better than here and even much more better than on on uh, even cheaper device like the Ledger Nano X, which has a uh, yeah quite large OLED display compared to the Nano S, but still it's it's way smaller and it's not a touchscreen at all. So um, this is one big benefit of it. Then you have another benefit uh, from the category of the two devices here and this is that you have uh, nfc near field communication at the back of the device so up until one month ago or a couple of weeks ago there was no use case for the nfc um there was saying from ledger that it's there are some functionalities in the future coming and now we have it so this is uh, the ledger recovery key here which will be sent uh, free of charge with your stacks or your flex and it makes your um, backup uh, convenient, easy, and it's another way to, to secure your backup. So as you may know, when you set up the Ledger device, you have the 24 word seed phrase and you write it down on a piece of paper. You can make it a couple of copies and put it into different houses, but um, it's, it's written down and it can be easily uh, lost. And this happened in, in, in the past also. And what is really cool with these uh, ledger recovery keys, which are actually, it's not the, like a metal build or so, it's, it's like a it's, it's paper, like thin paper, but it has a NFT chip here and you can just put it uh, next to the NFC uh, chip uh, on the ledger stacks here. And then you can transfer an encrypted uh, backup of your seed phrase and protect it with a pin code that is a different pin code from the device. So then you have uh, multiple backups and you can store it somewhere else. And so when a thief uh, breaks into your house and you have written down the 24 words, it's much more likely that the thief will remember that it has something to do with cryptocurrency. But here uh, it's hidden and it's also protected with a pin code. And I think that's a very good first feature for the um, NFC functionality of those devices. So this is also why you want to purchase one of those devices, Tex or the Flex, because you have NFC and in the future, there could be more um, helpful uh, functionalities coming to, to the devices. Besides the bigger and more modern looking display, uh, you have also one thing that differentiate the stacks from the flex and this is that you can charge a battery with um, a wire without the wire so um, you have here a USB-C port where you can charge a battery or interact connect it to your uh, Mac or your, your Windows laptop um, but you can also charge a battery uh, here with a, I think it's a QI standard the uh, which is pretty common 
and um, yeah, then you can also connect uh, the the stacks with your with your smartphone via Bluetooth. So that's that's pretty pretty uh, convenient in my opinion. And the battery lasts a lot because um, I haven't talked about that, but it's the same technology on the display, like on the e-reader, like you find on the Kindle. Um, so the battery basically lasts forever. Um, in bright light, as you can see right now, there's behind me there's a, a big li a source of light behind the camera. Um, you can see you can still uh, see the display, whether uh, with with a, a OLED or a LED is is much more difficult in bright sunlight. But also one disadvantage is um, if you you don't have a source of light, so you want to <laughs> check your uh, cryptocurrency in your bed without a source of light, you cannot see anything. So that's kind of a downside, but that's how this kind of uh, e-ink technology works. So this is what makes the Ledger stacks kind of special. Um, but what are the similarities between all the Ledger devices? Because at least here in Germany and Europe is 400 euros, which is a lot of money. It's, it's the most expensive hardware wallet, I think, on the market. And uh, even on, on the Ledger side, there are much more affordable hardware wallets. So, uh, so let's talk about the similarities because um, when talking about uh, security and safety, actually all of the devices uh, have the same security. All of them have the same secure element that stores your seed phrase. So they're equally uh, secure. And this is actually the most important thing when uh, buying, uh, shopping a hardware wallet, the security of, of your cryptocurrency that are stored uh, on the device or, or the, <laughs> the, the private keys that are stored on the device to be more specific technically. And um, yeah, all of them have the same uh, security. And then also all of them have the same functionalities uh, regarding the Ledger Live. So Ledger Live is the software where you interact on your uh, um, computer or your smartphone with. So you connect your Ledger device um, via Bluetooth or via cable to, to your device. And then you have Ledger Live, which uh, is a very uh, nice uh, software that has a lot of functionality. So you can manage your cryptocurrency, you have a Bitcoin wallet, Ethereum wallet, XRP wallet, and so on. You have the same amount of cryptocurrencies and tokens that you can store on, on those devices, um, whether it's, it's a much more affordable Ledger Nano S Plus or the more expensive stacks is, is all the same. And also the functionalities, you can swap coins there, you can um, access the so-called I think it's it's not called App Store, but it's kind of similar to an App Store uh, where you have third party uh, integrations like um, uh, Wallet Connect or Lido Finance, where you, where you do staking uh, on, on the Ethereum platform. Um, you, you can have a bunch of those third party apps uh, uh, next to your uh, Ledger device and manage them via Ledger Live. So there's no advantage buying the stacks uh, over the uh, uh, Nano S Plus uh, regarding the functionality of uh, Ledger Live. So my honest opinion, is it worth buying the Ledger stacks? Because this is the most important question. I think that's why you have clicked on the video. And to be honest and fair, even though this device was sent to me for free, I think for most people it's not worth buying it. Uh, most people will be totally fine uh, either with the Flex, so you save 150 euros, or even with the Nano X or Nano S Plus because the security is all the same, functionality of Fletcher Life is all the same. I have to say there is some advantage buying the touchscreen devices, so the Flex or the Stacks over the uh, Nano X. So you have NFC, you have uh, the better handling of, of the device or interacting with the device. So that's very nice. I've used this device for a couple of months now. And to be honest, it's, it's, it's nicer, it's easier to unlock to enter the pin, to enter the seed phrase, to interact is is much is a much nicer experience, and I would say the hundred euros more from the X to the uh, Flex it is much better spent than the one hundred fifty more from the Flex to the Stacks. So even though this looks like a two thousand ten device and this looks like a two thousand twenty device, <laughs> design wise is is pretty nice. I would say most of people will be fine with the Flex. But to be honest, if you are a pretty long Bitcoin holder or cryptocurrency holder, you have a lot of bags and you want to shell your the, the, the nicest device to other people on conferences or whatsoever. And even you know what, you can stack up these stacks. Uh, so up to, I don't know, 10 devices who would do that, but it's possible to put them up 
together. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, I don't know. If if you want to share these devices and you have money is not a problem, then go for that. Uh, but if you are conscious about spending your money, um, I would either go with the X or the Flex if you stay in the Ledger ecosystem, to be honest. If you decide to buy one of those devices, I would recommend you buying the Ledger devices via my official landing pages because you get $10 of Bitcoin as a gift or voucher code. So you can redeem them when uh, the, the device is sent to you. And I think, um, yeah, that's a great way to start your Ledger journey. So don't forget to use my affiliate code. You will find them in the video description. All right, so if you have any more questions, put them down in the comment section. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video. Bye bye.